Hey Foxies, my name is Simon Fox. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you're returning, welcome back. Like always, this is never about subscribers, nor about money, but about love and light. So with that being said, we're gonna be getting into this creative eyeshadow tutorial. Today we're gonna be using the James Charles palette. So we're gonna be doing a creative eyeshadow tutorial and a James Charles palette tutorial. So, uh, yeah, and I also actually went ahead and used the CC Beauty, so if y'all don't have graphic liners, this is an alternative, but just to let y'all know, they are paints, so it does smear over time, so I'm just letting y'all know. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I hope that y'all love this look. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and let's jump straight into this look. after cleaning and prepping my face I go in with my milk and then my Ola Henriksen primers I honestly love this combo I feel like it makes my skin look so nice and so bomb um, and it makes makeup stick really well to it so I already went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera and now I'm just taking the Jeffree Star concealer and I'm using this as a base um, I honestly love this as a base because it makes the eyeshadows really really pop and if you're looking for your eyeshadows to really just pop more definitely use a base even if you're going for a natural look I feel like some people just skip the base and it really makes a big difference when you use a base and even if you go for a natural look like I said it's still gonna make your look pop and make all those shadows really just enhance and while I'm just kind of placing my base down, I kind of just use that to go ahead and clean up my eyebrows as well underneath, just to give my eyebrows that really, really clean, defined look. I honestly love for my eyebrows to look really, really precise and sharp. Um, if you're not into that look, if you're into a more natural brow, go off this. It doesn't really work well with my eyebrows because I have a lot of eyebrow, basically. I have a lot of, I, my eyebrows are thick. <laughs> So now we're going to be going in with the shade Flashback, and as we all know, James is iconic picture for that. Um, these shade names are so cute, and I just love how they just relate to everything that he says. So now I'm going to be going in with the shade B, and I honestly love this shade so much. I feel like this shade, I mean, um, this palette has a lot of bright shades, and I honestly am obsessed with that because these are basically like the more brighter shades that I have in my palette collections, just because not a lot of people make bright shades and I'm hoping to be able to do that one day because I really really am more into the brighter shades um I guess you could say like not really wearable shades because people really wouldn't go towards those shades they would go more for natural looking shades and I really want something bright and neon So just going to be taking that yellow and just going to be using that in the inner corner and now I'm just going to be using the orange from the James Charles palette which is the shade 518 and I'm just going to be using that in the middle portion of my eye and then I'm slowly going to bring those two shades together to blend them together and make those transition really really nice and then on the outer portion I go in with the shade you're kidding and that just brought the whole look together like it literally looks so gorgeous I feel like when you go for a look this simple you really have to step it up with your blending game because that's really what it comes down to how blended those shades look because it is such a simple look um, I literally just use three shades obviously the graphic liner is that's just extra but I'm talking about just if you were to do these three shades you really have to step it up on your blending game because I feel like that's where it really comes into play and it's the most eye-catching 
so I made sure to go back and forth between them shade just to, like I said, pick up the shade where I want it and then just kind of transition it with the other shades just to make them really, really pop and make them stand out because I love for my eyeshadows to look really blended but at the same time have a lot of pigment and that is really, really difficult to attain because you, if you add too much, much you're screwed up you know so definitely adding a little bit at a time and diffusing it out is the best way to go about it and it does take a while but I promise it's gonna look sickening you're gonna look gorgeous and you're gonna be obsessed here I'm taking that shade you're kidding and like I said using that in the outer portion of my eye and what I like to do is bring it out to see how much I want to bring it out so diffuse it out like that like so how I'm doing just to see how high I want to bring it out and then I diffuse it up um, I feel like this is the best best method for me because it really just makes sure that all those edges are really really blended and I know how much I'm gonna bring it out already because I did that before I started blending I hope that made sense to y'all and then still doing the same thing, going back in with the same shades, rebuilding those shades where I want them, building that pigment where I want it, and diffusing all those edges with another brush and using my, it's the airspun powder. I like to use the airspun powder. You can use any basically fine powder that you have just to transition those out a little bit better. I feel like it really helps to make those transitions look really really smooth and if you're into that kind of look then definitely use air spun powder or any like fine powder you have. I promise it's gonna help and if it does make sure to let me know down in the comments. I would really like to see if it helped your makeup game in any type of way because it definitely helped mine for sure. It makes those like I said those ends and everything look really really blended and not so harsh. So now going in with the CC Beauty and I'm using those two colors just because those are my two brightest colors and I honestly really wanted to use a, a graphic liner, like a bright graphic liner, but I only have paint. So use what you got, it's okay. Um, I honestly still ended up loving this look and I'm sorry that the camera angle isn't the best. Um, it was just because I really wanted to make sure to get those lines really precise and sharp so first I just just did like a simple wing I really didn't even know what I was going for I knew I wanted a wing I just didn't know what I was going for. <laughs> so here I just went in from the inner corner of my eye and I started to bring it up and out um, I didn't bring it too far out I brought it halfway to like the basically the middle portion of my eye and I stopped it there and then I did the same with the pink liner quote unquote or pink um, I did the same with that and I just kind of went over that blue like literally right over the blue and it looks so freaking cute I wish it wouldn't have smudged you guys because like I said this is pink so it did smudge um, even if, I mean, like, I did set it, which is really weird because I set it with, like, a transition shade, but it's still, it's paint, you guys. I mean, I didn't, I really didn't expect anything less from it or more from it. It really did whatever I wanted to do at the end of the day, and I still got the art that I wanted to get through to y'all, so I hope that y'all still get it, even though there is a smudge. I hope y'all still love this. Um, so here I'm taking that pink and I'm just using that and I'm just going to connect it to where I ended the other liner. Y'all will see. By the way, you guys, just because this is in a faster speed, I don't want y'all to think that I literally do my liner that fast. I don't think anybody does their liner that fast. I think that you should take your time doing your liner and... Yeah, just don't rush it. Take your time. And I also want to add, even if you start off with not the best technique or not the best lines, 
that's cool too. Enjoy the fact that you get to do makeup and you get to experience it and that you get to take it off and redo it again if you mess up. Like, it's not that big of a deal. By the, by the way, you guys, I also want to mention, I got these nail, um, these nail precise liners in a way, or like line, um, brushes. <laughs> oh my god okay I need to get my words together I got these brushes on Amazon and they were really really affordable and they're so freaking cute and they make really really bomb lines so if you want to get some graphic liner brushes these are the ones for you I promise um, I'll leave them down in the bio for sure for y'all but yeah I've been using these these are my first time using them I literally just got them and I am obsessed. I've been using, uh, actually, I've been using paint brushes. And those work too, but I feel like since these are like nail ones, they're more like precise and you're able to achieve those really precise lines. So now taking the sh same shades that I used on top for some under eyeshadow, I took the shade You're Kidding first, and then 518, and then B. I really honestly ended up loving this so much, but I also ended up adding some graphic liner under. Um, I really want to start, sorry that I'm like saying um a lot, I don't know what's going on today with my communication, but anyways, I really want to start using, I lost myself, Rick, hold on. Okay, back on track. So I really want to start stepping out of my comfort zone, like I said before, I been stepping out of my comfort zone a lot in my recent most videos y'all have been living for it and i can't wait to continue to put out more videos like that because i've honestly been living for those looks as well like i said i don't really know what i'm going for just follow and enjoy yourself while you're doing your makeup with me do whatever type of lines you want wherever you want it's makeup like i said just have fun with it and that's pretty much what I was really doing was just having fun with it. Like I said, I've been doing that in my most recent videos a lot more and I've just been having fun with makeup. I haven't really been judging myself or trying to judge myself. And I've also realized that whenever I'm not sitting there judging myself and critiquing myself is when I come out with the most sickest looks. They are so sickening. And like I said, I can't wait to continue to put out looks like this because these are the types of looks that I live for. These are the types of looks that I feel like I get to express myself the most. And I just end up being so obsessed with the outcome. I want to do looks that catch your attention. I want to do looks that basically I'm proud of, you're proud of. I want to do looks that are definitely going to turn heads. So with that being said, subscribe if you haven't. I'm, like I said, I'm going to be doing looks like this. So stay tuned for them. They're going to be coming. And if you want more natural looks, I do those too. I promise. I'll get around to them. They're fun. I'll do them every so often. You'll see them. <laughs> Alright Foxy, so this is the finished look on the creative eyeshadow tutorial using the James Charles palette. I honestly had so much freaking fun making this and it did take me a minute but I honestly, like I said, I had so much fun. I feel like I really got to let myself express myself a lot more and just have more fun with graphic liners because I've been wanting to have fun with graphic liners. I've actually reached out to a couple of people a couple of makeup brands that make um graphic liners and unfortunately they didn't want to work with me at the moment just because their pr team is full already so um yeah i mean i used my paint that's kind of what i got um i used the two brightest shades that i have and like i said they do smear they're not smear proof unfortunately but this is just a fun way to express yourself and to just kind of feel free with makeup to express yourself. Uh, so with that being said, y'all make sure to leave me some love, some likes, some comments. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe. Um, and yeah, and I'll see y'all Wednesday or Saturday. All right. Bye, Foxies.